Hello and welcome to another episode of the in-depth series. Have you heard about blue bugging? This is a term which has been tossing through our tongues because of the hacking possibilities when we are using Bluetooth devices. So we will talk about that from the perspective of your examination of films. It is important that you know about it from the perspective of GS Mains paper third and second as well. It is important that you analyze this topic. These are the many things that we are going to discuss. As it is related to Bluetooth, we will talk about that. Cyber experts have told that the apps that let users to connect their smartphones and laptops to wireless earplugs, or we call it earbuds or AirPods. So, whichever apps are letting you do that are making it possible for the hackers to infiltrate into your uh, conversation and record conversation. Even the most of the secure phones like iPhones, these smartphones are vulnerable, although Android mobiles are much more vulnerable. It can, through iPhones, if we talk about it, record conversations with Siri, audio from the iOS, this is the software of iPhones. This keyboard dictation feature can also be recorded and AirPods or Beats headsets can also be infiltrated upon and this is known as blue bugging because it is related to Bluetooth. What is Bluetooth? Now Bluetooth is a short range wireless communication technology in which it was envisioned that why to have connection only through cables and wires. We can use the surroundings and then through that, we can establish connection at short range. It allows the devices to transmit data or voice wirelessly over short distance. And as I told you, it was brought out in order to record the, uh, in order to replace the cable. Where did the word Bluetooth come from? It comes, the name comes from, the term Bluetooth comes from the 10th century Danish king, Harald Bluetooth. Harald Bluetooth has this very beautiful quality of integrating peacefully the warring sections of the society. Like the Bluetooth connects all the devices, Harold Bluetooth used to do that. So, from his name, this particular technology's name came into being. It was developed, Bluetooth, in 1994, in which the usage of 2.4 gigahertz frequency was there, as some other wireless technology in the home or office used the same one. And it created a 10 meter, that is 33 foot radius wireless network it is known as personal area network or eco network okay moving ahead now now if we talk about how does it work it joins its devices uh, the devices which are discoverable which have this feature of being connected without wires and cables this term this entire process is known as pairing and as you can see this is the master device through which everything is connected it has created a 10 meter radius and here devices can be connected without using cables. So this particular range is very vulnerable because it does not connect the devices through cables. So this region becomes very vulnerable to a hack and infiltrate the space and then get into your devices and mobile phones. Now if we do talk about how secure is Bluetooth, see like any other wireless device, wireless networking a device Bluetooth is also not very safe. Although connections are encrypted, which prevents eavesdropping from other devices nearby, and Bluetooth devices also shift radio frequencies that lessens the chance of infiltration. But there are problems with respect to, as I told you, as any wireless network is vulnerable to hacking, so is Bluetooth. Blue snapping is the term in which a hacker gains unauthorized access information to information on a device through Bluetooth. And blue bugging when an attacker takes over your mobile phone and all its function in order. This is an unauthorized access as well. So blue bugging can be known as a form of hacking. Here attackers access a device through a Bluetooth device which is discoverable. That is why we recommend do not let your phone or any device to be discoverable when you are in public unless and until you need to do so. Once a device or phone is blue bugged, once infiltration has been done, when attackers get through your device through blue bugging, once a device or phone is blue bugged, the hacker can listen to the code, read and send text and also modify contact. And this term blue bug 
was used as early as in 2004 by Martin Herford. So, this is the Prenum's fact. Now, if we talk about how does blue bugging hack devices, how does it happen? This is done through, of course, those devices which have this feature of Bluetooth. And what has happened? That since uh, the coming of the current modeling of technology, many phones automatically have made Bluetooth to be discoverable. So, that is the problem. When any device is in discoverable mode, which is the default setting in most of the mobile phones, it, the hackers can pair with the device via Bluetooth and then they can use brute force attack to bypass any sort of authentication that is in your phone. Then they can install malware into the compromised devices and hence they can exploit your privacy for their own benefit. And how can we ensure, how can we know this can happen? Whenever a Bluetooth enabled device is within the 10 meter radius range of the hacker, this can happen. However, hackers can also use the booster for their antenna to go beyond this, you know, this radius of 10 meter. Alright, moving ahead now, which devices are most susceptible to such issues? Any Bluetooth enabled device is. And Wireless earbuds are also susceptible. Apps that enable users to connect to the true wireless stereo devices or earbuds can record conversation. Apple also acknowledged earlier that the wireless earbuds can record conversation. So, a smartphone as secure, as costly as Apple has also acknowledged the upgraded thing of blue bugging. Several smartphones have Bluetooth setting on discovery already and which uh, which facet we have to understand over here is the devices which have very short pin for their password are much more susceptible. If you keep a longer password, your phone or any other device might be at least safe. How can one prevent it? First of all, we have to turn off the Bluetooth whenever we are going out in the public. And we have to disconnect paired Bluetooth devices when they are not in use because if it is remaining on, then hackers can hack it. Updating the device system software is also helping to so do that as well. Limiting the use of public Wi-Fi as well as using VPN as an additional security measure can also help. And users must also watch out for any suspicious activities that is happening in their phone. However, we have to understand we can also install modern antivirus software in our phone and then we can be at least safe. Cyber crimes in India are rising. According to National Crime Record Bureau data, India reported 552,974 cases of cybercrime in 2021, which is an increase of over 5% from last year. That means before 2021. Then 15% was there in 2019. As India is becoming digitally active, digital India's dream, these instances will also increase. So there are certain challenges. Because mobile companies and other devices, uh, manufacturing companies just have one thing in mind to make profit. So, they are creating such profit friendly devices where you do not need to go through any hassle. But if you do not need to go through any hassle, you are much more exploitable. There is an absence of separate procedural code because in order to try cyber crimes, there are separate set of codes which are not extremely codified. So, that is also a problem. Because there is no punishment, a lack of punishment or a lack of, you know, uh, proper uh, procedures, it is encouraging the hackers to go through this, uh, through these many extents. Transnational labor of nature of cyber attacks have also increased, which has increased the chances of, uh, you know, state-sponsored crimes as well. So, what has happened as in different countries, there are different methods as well as upgraded technology of hacking into the devices of other countries, this is also an issue. Also, expanding digital ecosystem specifically in a technologically savvy country like India, it has become another challenge. But we need to ensure that awareness also increase about such viruses and such techniques. Limited expertise and authority, there is not a lot of awareness with respect to cyber crime and very less skill upgradation to tackle those cyber crimes. So that is also an, another challenge. There are certain initiatives that India has taken for fighting cyber crime. First is Cyber Seduction Bharat, which was launched in 2018 by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. The aim is to raise awareness about cyber crime and to build capacities 
of Chief Information Security Officer. Other than that, National Cyber Crime Reporting Portal was launched on a pilot basis on 30th August 2019. This is a citizen-centric initiative to take care of citizens, which will enable citizens to report cyber crimes online. So, if you are going through any issue, you can report it here with respect to cyber crime. The Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center was launched in October 2018, in which all types of cyber crimes in a comprehensive and coordinated, man coordinated manner will be dealt with. Cyber Information Security System, uh, Cyber in and Information Security Division of MHA, Ministry of Home Affairs, has the I4C under it only. Okay. There are other initiatives such as National Critical Information Infrastructure uh, Protection Sector. There are legislations on securing cyber space such as Information Technology Act of 2000 and National Cyber Security Strategy of 2020. Now let's look at the question that you have to practice. Um, in India, it is legally mandatory for which of the following to report on cybercrime incidents. Service providers, data centers, body corporate, you have to answer it with the help of these many uh, options and this is a 2017 previous year question from UPSC only. So do answer it, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.